Welcome back, folks, to Let's Activate a Giant Robot. Uh, off camera, I finished collecting the treasures, or at least I did on an alternate save state. And then I goofed up that save state to the point where you were going to miss an awesome. <laughs> oh, excuse me, cinematic movie that you absolutely positively must see. Everybody's got to see this movie, folks. It's a life changer. So, um, I want to load state after I show you this movie, but let's see the movie. The key works. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Robot, take us to the lake! Yes, ma'am, live to serve. The robot's eye glows a bit, and then... Whoa. Okay. I guess we are seeing only what the robot can see. The robot seems to have a pretty limited field of vision. But we can take it on faith that it knows where the river or the lake is, because it's set in there, I think. Boy, am I ever glad I um, loaded state, fought through that boss battle again with frame skip, and showed you this because um, otherwise you'd have no idea what was going on. The robot makes its way to the lake, crosses the dried up riverbed, and um, all is well in the world. When we destroy the rock, we will restore the river, baby. Oh. Robot, use your power to destroy the rock. Uh, Avatar, you want to take a line here, buddy? No, thanks. <laughs> um, okay, now stuff shuts shaking around. And, uh... Oh, he's got laser eye. He knows what you're thinking. He's got laser eye. The Christmas lights are blinking. And he's so curious, and he's so curious, and he's so curious, and he's got laser eye. Hey! Okay. Avatar, we did it, baby. Yes, now we can return to the village. Let's make out, Nina. You know you wants to make out with the wolf, man. Oops. Oh, that's why the Avatar was in front of my party in my other save state. Okay. Everything makes sense now. Alright, so we, uh, we did it, folks. We rescued everything. Ever. Um... You know, I was wondering if the Wolfman impression might be getting a little tiresome, but I got two comments in support of it, folks. They were both from the same person, but, um... You know, I don't have a lot of subscribers, so, uh... That's the reason you should comment and give feedback, folks. I have few enough sus subscribers that at this point, any feedback I get will be taken very seriously, because there's not going to be a lot of voices arguing with you. And here we are. We are now at this place. What's in this cave? I don't even remember what's in this cave. Have we even been in this cave? Oh, I believe we have been, and we couldn't get anywhere because of something to do with the water. But maybe that's changed. Yes, it has changed. Now there's awesome treasure we can get to. And when I say awesome treasure, I'm talking about no less than Whoop Potion. What is Whoop Potion? I think that increases your wisdom. That's actually a really good potion. Where the heck did it end up? That's what antler. I don't care about what antler right now. That's water jar. Alright. Slowly, carefully search my inventory for the what potion. Did I just find a completely random place in my inventory to put this thing? Did it just not populate in my inventory yet? What the heck's going on? There it is. It's probably been there the whole time. My wisdom will increase. Alright, well, Nina's our healer person, so she's the one who really needs wisdom. And that's old age, and it's wisdom. It whispers, no, this will be the last. And the wind whisper, Nina, 40 and 39. The Wolfman Jack's slightly more intelligent <laughs> than uh, the after. <laughs> but Nina clearly sees them both as slobbering idiots. Particularly you, Wolfman Jack. I mean, I know you're slightly smarter than the Avatar, but there's no arguing that you don't slobber more. There is no arguing. Maybe I lose the slobber. Do and this. It's probably a new area we couldn't get to. This is probably super critical, plot important stuff here. And uh, as I said before. Whatever water is dripping in these caves, if this was Heart of the Alien 2, it would totally murder us. 
is locked, baby. Says the avatar. Avatar, stop talking like me. Uh, says Wolfman Jack. Or Bo. Wow, it used Burnout, which is a deadly um, spell. Once again, associated with pot use. Okay, folks, so far in this video, we have activated a giant robot and gone to one of the many, many locked doors in this game, none of which seem to be openable by keys. You know, if I was in lead of the party, we could walk right through those trees. Yes, thank you, Wolfman Jack. I'm just trying to be helpful, baby. That's, yes, great. Oh, wow, the, instantly the grass grew back. Oh, water is returned. Thank you. Thank you for paying our utility bill. Dark Dragon destroyed the bridge to the port town in the south. Oh, orders returned. Thank you. Dark Dragons have returned. Oh, our two villages will continue to work together. Yeah, what do you mean work together? You were just blaming each other for the problem. If you find a palace, stop and pay your respects. <laughs> okay. I'm very fond of the old woman. Our two villages will continue to work together. Dark Dragons have destroyed the thing. Celebrate a freedom with a wedding for Terry and Amelia. Do they want to get married, or are you just forcing them into it so that you can celebrate? That's what I want to know. Thanks to you, the wedding is back on schedule. Was this wedding something I was supposed to have known about? They probably mentioned it in dialogue that I just kind of half heartedly made fun of. Oh man, there's no escape from this village that way. Do do. Night falls on the avatar. Well, I thought I was falling. Maybe not. Even if you're at the wedding, water, you can't always... What the heck? I'm, I can't read today. This is Tanta. We are the Force Clan, baby. If you find a palace, stop and pay your respects by... Ooh, our two villages will continue to work together. Ooh. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Oh, water has returned. Thank you, babe. You know, I could sit down and do some research, watch, like, Teen Wolf or something, find other references to werewolves to make, but I just have way too much fun going, Ah, you have a time. You should look for the ring. It is hidden in a cave upstream. The key's down below. Oh, well, thank you. It's... Is this going to be the key that opens all those locked doors? That would be sweet, folks. You take her... Sorry, you take the key. Or, you take key. Excuse me. Why is this hole here? I will prepare for a wedding while Avatar's away because we expect Wolf, Bambo, and Nina to get married on your return. I'm still recovering from being hit by a dark dragon arrow, baby. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, the secret to a good Wolfman Jack impression, folks, is to just say baby at the end of every sentence and then go, ow. It's pretty much, uh, that's how I do it, folks. And if you want to do it like the pros, you too will just go, ow, at the end of every sentence and somehow expect that to be a credible impression. <laughs> Okay, folks, well, now that we've already been in that uh, cave and completely failed to do anything, let's go in there again. But we have saved the day, folks. We have rescued those towns from a lifetime of being kind of dry. We have defeated the demon of parchedness, and that should allow us to get the ring... Which is, I don't know, maybe it's an equipable item. Nobody has anything in their etc. slot. Maybe uh, Nina can put on the ring and it'll be like an engagement ring for her and Bo, who are clearly in love. Or perhaps um, it will start whispering, Take me to Sauron!
And then John Rice Davies can come out and they can use computer effects to make them look really tiny. It'd be awesome, folks. We clearly need the ring. One ring to rule them all, one ring to bind them or find them or something. Something, something in the darkness bind them. I remember that much. Do, do. You think there's going to be a boss down here? Bosses seem to show up just randomly in this game. You go through a really long dungeon with no boss. Suddenly eight bosses show up when you don't think that you've really done anything to warrant a boss fight. Do, 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 do. Let's kill some slugs. Oh, yeah. Warhog. Yeah, that's right, Warhog. Now I can walk through this water, and I couldn't walk through water before. I don't know. I've become Jesus at some point. Do do. Maybe I'm Bee Jesus. Bee Jesus is the savior of all bees, and uh, despite the rules of every game or fantasy piece ever. There appears to be no cave behind these waterfalls. Or indeed, way to get to that awesome treasure. You take life. You take the life of innocent slugs and warhogs. Who gives you the right, Avatar? That's okay, babe. I grant you the right to kill this and me blob. Thanks, Wolf Mambo. See, it never hurts to say thanks, baby. I... All right. Anyway, it's not this playthrough so much as uh, the fact that I recently checked out um, the very end of Necroscope's playthrough of Fallout 3. I'm not dropping that name in the hopes that it will, you know, help me in any way because he's got like a million subscribers and I have, you know, nine. But um, it made me think it would be fun to do a let's play of Fallout 3. Which made me think that I should really try to come up with Let's Plays that a million other people aren't already doing. I took life too. And that's why it's okay for you to take life, Avatar. I've taken life too. I've taken the life of many innocents, Aru. Keep killing Zards, folks. And I missed a staircase back there because I s kind of assumed it was a staircase that was going to take us back up. But now that there's more staircases involved in getting to this ring, uh, I don't know. I think I have to get back to that staircase at some point. It may have been the staircase that allows me to get the ring. What a kick in the pants that would be, huh? Yeah, Blurb's not really uh, posing much of a challenge at this point. Um, I have to apologize again. This game has me more confused about the story than most. I really do not know why we are going to get this key or the ring. I mean, we were sort of told it was valuable. The Dark Dragons want it. That, you know, that says something. The Dark Dragons want it. We probably don't want them to have it. Because the Dark Dragons are, like, you know, bad. But, um, what the ring actually does, I don't know. It's probably, you know, a MacGuffin. It's just this plot item that we need to stop them from having. Oh, great. It's going to be a real pain in the butt to go back and get that one staircase I missed now. The ring is made of pure unobtainium, folks. And that's why it's so important that we get it. And that's why it's particularly important that Avatar gets it. A Skysha. That's, uh... Skysha is kind of like a shillelagh, I guess. It's, uh... Come back here, you! Bring back me old Skysha! She just... He does not appear to be allowed to use the Skysha. Maybe it's a Wolfman Jack only weapon. I doubt it. He's not allowed to use shields at all, really. Maybe Nina's the one that has to use the Skysha. What do you know? An item for Nina. That doesn't happen often. And when it does, it's usually something like, you know, Frilly Pink Tutu or Alice Band or something, you know, girly. Not this time, folks. Not this time. All right. When we come back, we are going to get whatever's in that treasure chest. And, um, 
it's going to change everything. So we'll see you then.